after doing 101 kickflips in these shoes, I wanted to do a full review on them. So I've been skating them ever since. And this is my review of the Nike SB Zoom Stefan Janowski RM Premium. Premium. This is like the top notch Janowski, top notch Janowski. First and foremost, thank you guys so much for selling out the Midnight Blue Not Sponsored collection of the shirts and the long sleeves and the hoodies. I am gonna make one more run of these and it's gonna come out next Monday. So, mark your calendars for that. And then, and then after that, I'm done, okay? No more Midnight Blue Collection, all right? All of it's gonna be gone forever. I'm not gonna remake it. I wanna make more graphics. These shoes are true to size and they're actually pretty comfortable for just walking around in. And of course, this video is not sponsored and these shoes cost me $90. I picked this particular pair of Janowskis because they look like they would be a lot more durable than any traditional pair of Janowskis that you would get, and especially more durable than any canvas Janowskis. On Nike's website, they say the Nike SB Zoom Stefan Janowski RM Premium elevates a flexible skate favorite with a beautiful stitching and plush materials. Chishiko is a form of decorative reinforcement stitching that originated in Japan. This technique was used to create new items out of old worn ones. A full-length foam shock liner cushions every step. A Zoom Air unit in the sock liner develops responsive cushioning. Geometric shapes between the midsole and the outsole expanding the track in all directions for better board feel and flexibility. Rubber has been thinned out in key areas for a lighter and more broken in feel right out the box. Vulcanized construction fused to the upper for a flexible broken in feel. And after doing those 100 kickflips, these shoes did feel broken in. Because this is a vulcanized shoe, I do feel like the flick is very good. And typically, vulcanized shoes don't have a really good heel flip. But when I was doing my heel flips, I felt like this heel rolled off the edge of my board very well. And I felt really comfortable doing my heel flips as well as my kick flips. I have been skating these shoes for about two weeks now, but because of the holidays, we'll just go ahead and call it a week and a half. I have torn through these stitches and the suede is starting to tear, but other than that, the shoe is held up pretty well, and I can see myself skating these for maybe another two weeks or even longer. The laces have not ripped yet, but I can see them starting to go, and I'm, I'm tired of ripping laces. I'm done with it. So I'm going to set out to make the best shoelace that I possibly can and make available for you guys. But for now, these laces held up at least a week and a half, so that's pretty... Uh, a lot better than most laces. All of these stitches on the toe cap are starting to rip and bust open, and I feel like because these stitches are here, it's giving the suede a little bit more time before it starts to rip open as well. And the way that these shoes look isn't really one that I can complain about. It has a very minimalistic look while at the same time being iconic. And not only is it a shoe that skateboarders like, but a lot of people that I know that don't even skate have bought these shoes repetitively. So personally, I'm really happy that Stefan Janowski fought for his shoe to be the way that it is. I wish that I could get these shoes in a canvas version just to chill in and not skate, but I can't really do that right now because I'm spending all my money on getting new shoes for shoe reviews for this channel, so make sure you subscribe. The traditional Nike tread on these shoes is grippier than most shoes that I've skated. The only downside to how grippy they are is that they squeak, so if you don't want to be squeaking around, then I don't think you should get them. Like even if you're running, it's like squeak, 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 squeak. There's always squeaking. This vulcanized toe did start to round out rather quickly, because even after the first 100 kickflips, it already was pretty rounded off. But I feel like because the tread and the kick material flips. that the outsole is made of is so grippy, it doesn't really matter because it's still able to grip and flick your board as if the toe cap was brand new. And once again, I am not surprised by this insole. The insole itself has this zoom air unit in the heel that does protect you from heel bruise, but the rest of the insole is pretty thin and not to mention gets pretty compacted rather quick, so it helps you even less. But at the same time, I wasn't really jumping down anything that big, so if you're gonna be hucking down some things, then I would suggest putting an insole in here, or better yet, just land on your board every single try. That's, that's easy to do, right? If you wanna get a pair of Janowskis, they're gonna perform really well, but there's two things to remember. The first thing is that you probably should get them in suede, because if you get a canvas one, you're gonna blow it out really fast. And the second most important thing to remember is that you need to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm to help get this video to as many people as we possibly can. 
If you want to try out a pair of these Janowskis, then I'll leave an affiliate link for you down below in the description, as well as a link to an affiliate page with every single one of the shoe reviews that I've done on my channel, with links to get the shoes right below the video. Leave a comment down below, let me know what shoes you want me to view next. Go skate, have fun, and check out these percentages. And if you don't know what to do, you, you know what to do by now. The, the best, best skateboard shoe review content every single week, so, you know. You know what to do. I'm gonna get rid of these. Get rid of these shoes real quick. Shoe jack! Shoe jack! There's people in there. A whole bunch of people. Don't worry, guys. I got you. You guys look a little dirty. I'll go ahead and clean it off there. Love ya.